I believe Joe is right when he says that this election is a fight for the soul of America. This is a moment in time where we have to look in a mirror and ask ourselves, who are we? And I think we all know we are better than this. We are better than this. How do I describe myself? I describe myself as a proud American. My parents met when they were graduate students at UC Berkeley back in the civil rights movement. And you know, I joke, me and my sister joke, we grew up surrounded by a bunch of adults who spent full time marching and shouting. Our mother was the kind of parent who, if you ever came home complaining about something, the first thing she'd do is look at you and say, so what are you going to do about it? So I decided to run for president of the United States. <laughs> There was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. I had this one leotard, long sleeves, and then we did, we sewed fringe down the bottom of the the, the, the arm, the sleeve. Back in the day, I go down to the National Mall to protest the United States investment in apartheid South Africa. And I interned in the United States Senate. I chaired the Economic Society, I was on the Howard debate team, and I pledged my dear sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha. career, the conventional wisdom was that people were either soft on crime or tough on crime, but I knew we should be smart on crime. Our justice system needs drastic repair. Early intervention leaves room in our prisons for the violent criminals who should be there. I did it in San Francisco. As Attorney General, I can do it across California. There is work that we have done there. There's work that we have done around racial profiling and in particular implicit bias and racial bias in the criminal justice system and in particular in law enforcement that needs to be addressed.
That's not my question. Not Limitation. Question, I will repeat. Excuse me, I, I'm asking the questions. Hold ourselves to. Can you please to. answer the question? Can you think of any laws that give the government the power to make decisions about the male body? I'm not, a, I'm not a thinking of any right now, Senator. of our country depends on you and millions of others lifting our voices to fight for our American values. That's why I'm running for President of the United States. On the issue of, of in, and in the conversation with Vice President Biden, it was through the lens of, of that, which is that these segregationists pushed policies and really made, built their careers and reputations off of policies that were about segregation of the races in our country. And it had real consequence. The policy perspective that was opposed to busing had real consequence. I was that little girl. I, and there are many others around the country who were those little girls and boys who were bust. It should not require a maiming or torture in order for us to recognize a lynching when we see it and recognize it by federal law and call it what it is, which is that it is a crime that should be punishable with accountability and consequence. So that's what this election is about. It's about saying we know we matter. We know the power is with the people. Yes, we have not achieved the ideals of our country yet. We all know that too. But we know that if we stop fighting, we will never get there and so we fight. That is the strength of who we are as a nation.